Alright, so this is what we're going to be tying today. Um, just a little sh crab, uh, shrimp fly, crab fly. Something that looks a little buggy, gets the fish's attention. It can crawl on the bottom, sits uh, hook point up. Let's get into it. I'm going to run through the materials real quick. Um, size 2 hook, and I like something with a longer shank. Um, and of course, you vary in size. I like to use the black and purple in the winter months when the fish are a little more lethargic um, and they, you know, a little more spooky. So I like the smaller profile of a size two. And the summer might be bumping it up a little bit. Um, and then from there, we're going to be using the black, black thread. We're just going to use dark black thread. You can use purple. Um, and then we're going to be using purple flash, black marabou purple pseudo hair um, we're going to be using black legs and then some purple barred legs as well and finally we're using a black EP tarantula brush um, black EP with purple legs right. so we got the dumbbell eyes tied on and we brought the thread back to where the barb is on the hook and then the first material we'll be tying on here is just the black marabou um, this is kind of optional to add. I like it because it adds a little extra movement. Um, it adds a little more bulk to the fly. And you, of course, you know, you guys can play around with how much you use, what colors, and all that. Um, but I like to tie this, um, kind of going up this way, up at an angle. So, sometimes I even tie it on like this, right? on top of the bend of the hook, um, like so. And then tie that down, just a couple of securing wraps. And again, play around with the length. Um, I tied on maybe an inch of Mary there. So we got that down. Um, hope you guys can see, I know it's hard to see the black with the black background, but it's, it's uh, angled up, which is what I like to see. And then now we're gonna tie in, um, we're tying in some purple flash. Uh, just take a couple strands, nothing crazy. Less is more. Um, I got three strands here in my hand. Wow. Cut a piece that's about three inches. And I'm gonna lay that right on top of the marabou. Um, so you can get them kind of split around the hook point. And I like those to be a little bit longer than the marabou. Maybe about like half an inch longer, and then tie that down. Um, if you want to, you can always fold back the excess. I will be, I'll be trimming the excess in this for this fly, but you could definitely fold it back if you wanted to. All right. So from here, we're gonna tie in, um, tie in the legs. All right. So next, we're tying in. Just take a single black leg here. And I like wrapping it around the thread, tying it in, and tying it in so it goes right under the marabou, like like so. Um, and then again, I trim that about the length, maybe a little longer than I did the purple flash, like so. So I like keeping the black legs or the longer ones under the fly, um, directly under, and then the next, the next set of legs I'm gonna tie on the side. Um, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna tie in one leg for each side, and rather than wrapping it around the thread, um, like I did with the black ones, I'm gonna hold these by the middle because I want to get that purple where it tapers into the bard, and tie it in like that. All right, so we're gonna tie these in, like I said, just on the side of the fly, side of the hook rather, um, like so. I like keeping um, these one, these legs pretty short, right? So um, if you're not using marabou, I like keeping it a little bit um, shorter than the flash, maybe like half an inch or so, like that. And then we will turn the fly over and do the same thing on the other side. 
and then you just tie it in on the side of the hook back to where we just tied in everything else and then trim that cut it in half and then just a little shorter than the flash all right so that's what we got so far next we'll be tying in the tarantula brush all right so then i brought my thread back right directly under the hook point and then we're going to start wrapping the tarantula brush um, make sure you're not trapping the marabou or the legs and you can do tighter wraps if you want a more bulky fly or you can do um, some wraps are more spread out if you want that sparser look if you're fishing for really really spooky fish you might want to go for um, you know less is more so I got about three or four wraps in there and then I'm going to tie that off All right. kind of looks a little crazy right now um, I like taking then my two fingers, brushing everything back, and then locking it in with a couple extra tight wraps. All right. So next, we're gonna tie in the pseudo hair. So this is what I got. Um, maybe two and a half inches of purple pseudo hair. The important thing is just tying it in evenly on top of everything you just tied onto the fly. So I like taking the hook point and kind of just splitting the pseudo hair fibers down the middle with it and trying to pull it back. And uh, you know I like as long as it's longer than the marabou that's the important thing. If the antenna is a little bit longer than it it's okay and then the legs will definitely be longer than it. Um, at least the first pair that we tied in. So once that's in I'm just gonna lock it down. Alright, like that, trim away the excess, okay, now the next part's pretty easy, and it's actually, of course, something you can play around with, um, I've tied, if you're, you know, if you have more crabs in the area, then you can use EP, make an EP body, um, or if you, you know, you like keeping it simple, you can go with crystal chenille, which is what we'll be doing today. I got some black and purple, some flash that we'll be using for the body. And we're going to take our thread back to where we just tied everything in and lock this strand of crystal chenille in here. And then I bring my thread right to in front of the dumbbell eyes. And then finally, stroking everything back one more time while we do our tight wraps forward to create the body of this shrimp fly. And I um, will be taking it just in front with one wrap in front of the dumbbell eyes and lock it down and tie it off like so two just for good measure that's that um, all right and that's 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 the fly little shrimp pattern Nothing too too crazy. I'll get some different angles here for you guys so you can really get a good look. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's effective. It I like keeping it smaller too. It doesn't make too much um, of a splash when you cast it. Um, I have been able to get some follows on sheep's head with this fly. But yeah, redfish love it. Sea trout love it. It sinks pretty good. Of course, you can play around with the dumbbell eye size if you're fishing in deeper water. If you're around Tampa Bay, which where I'm used to fishing in Florida, this is flies killer in that uh, down in that area. 
So, if you guys want to see more fly tying videos, just let me know. Um, be sure to follow my Instagram. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the future. Thanks for thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Black and purple for the win, baby. Little 20 incher.